Man says his pastime is perfect for the pandemic. He's an expert kite builder who teaches the art through his social media site. Jim Mendoza has his story. Get ready, go! All the different aerodynamic concepts are built into this kite. Decades ago, Kelvin Chun learned the art of building Filipino-styled kites from a master kite builder who shared all of his secrets. I grew up in the area where my mentor, Patricio Gangab, he was flying these Filipino kites. They call it Sarangola or Gurion, and it flew sh almost perpendicular to the ground. I thought, wow, what a feat of engineering that I got to learn that. Ganga built kites of all sizes. His largest was as tall as a two-story house. Filipino kites are shaped like a manta ray and are made of rice paper, plastic, mylar, or fiberglass. The tail is part of the body and the bracing is shaved bamboo. So when the wind blows, it pushes against this and just like the birds in you know, a part of the wing or our elbow, this bends. So the bamboo it bends with the wind. Calvin is an award-winning retired teacher who specialized in STEM subjects. Kites fit right in. It has aerodynamics, it has symmetry, balance, so a lot of science and math concepts. He thinks his pastime is perfect for people during the pandemic. It gets you outdoors while maintaining physical distance. If you want to learn how Kelvin builds his kites, all you have to do is check out his YouTube channel. He has posted a bunch of how-to videos. That's where he explains the concepts behind his creations. Rather than just my classroom or a community workshop, I can catch the whole world through YouTube. Calvin has been building and flying these types of kites for 50 years. He hopes to revive interest in his art so more people experience the joy of sailing the wind. Jim Mendoza, Hawaii News Now. Wow, that's really amazing. There's something so calming and freeing about flying a kite these days. Well, it will be.